Thankfully, I'm only in three of them. Right. I'm only in so one. I've got Dustin in one of them, and I've made him already come up with four different identities. For them. <laughs> it, oh, so many layers. Yeah, it is how onions work. Oh, the view vigilante. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who actually remembers what's happening? Uh, we're in a ruin. We were ambushed by kobolds. People nearly died, and now we're long resting inside a, t a tomb. Are you guys actually long resting? Yeah. That was decided. Pretty sure that we are still keeping a, a watch schedule, though. Okay. Uh, who's on first watch? Hmm. I have a pretty good perception. I'll take it. Anyone going to join me? Find my sheet, but I'm pretty sure I'm good at, uh... uh... My perception's not good, so I'll join you. Uh... I can only see the wrong room. Hmm? Same. I'm looking. Just the ghosts. There we ah, go. There we are. <clears throat> Just the ghosts. <laughs> hey. I'm not supposed to see that anymore. And me, me, Squeakers, and uh, Taz can keep watch. Okay. Uh, let me see something real fast. Okay. Uh, give me a perception check from the both of you. Hey, not terrible. It was uh, almost that, too. Actually, I think I have a good bonus on that. Because I get double my proficiency on it. Yeah, that's right. Not great. Okay. Uh, the watch goes by fairly uneventfully. You're met with a, you know, a pretty long, it, the time seems weird because it's, there's no skybox, basically, that you can't see outside. Um, it's hard to keep time, effectively. And the constant, um, <laughs> it's much more prominent in this area after you've been here for a while, but most of this place is pretty damp. But it's very briny. Very, there's salt in the air. But nothing of note. Uh, distant chatters and scratches, but otherwise, pretty calm. Who's next? I volunteer as tribute. Okay. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, let's get perceptions. <laughs> we suck. I lied. My perception's not good at all. Um... Roll initiative. <laughs> no, it's it's still nothing much going on. It's uh Valet yep, is too busy paying paying attention to uh inscribing runes on her sword to pay attention to actual important things. Keeps trying to like point out things in giant. I'm just like I don't understand what you're talking about. 
Look, look, you see this? You see this rune? This cool rune? This means sky. <laughs> okay. You can tell it means sky because of this line right here. If this line were over the rune, it would mean earth. The only thing you can think is, how does she know this? <laughs> Where did she find time to learn this in between not studying for her exams? Ugh. So that leaves Vitaly. 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 And Sophia? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Vitality and Sophia. Don't fuck this up, Sophia. Vitality and Sophality. Fucked it up, you piece of shit. The next one. Oh my hey. god. How? <laughs> so oh many my... eights. And now Leslie's gonna roll like six twenty initiatives <laughs> on us. So I'll just uh, spend the whole rest of the shift discussing the evils of the current financial system with Sophia. When the kobolds show up, we get it! Capitalism bat! And, uh, I I'm too busy trying to deflect Vitaly to, uh, to focus on the watch. So if each just lived according to their needs, there would be no scarcity. But what about their wants? You're asleep. You don't get wants. Shut up, sleeping person. Yeah, right. Yeah. <clears throat> so which one of us takes Nero to the back? <laughs> that would be so perfect, Arrowway. <laughs> Falcon's ten back. back. Why does this feel familiar? Vitaly. I feel indescribably angry. I don't know why. Um, Vitaly, what's your AC? <clears throat> uh, one of those numbers. Sixteen. Okay, and Sophia, yours is also. Uh, 19. 19. Oh, wow, that worked out. Um, okay. Uh, Vitaly. Sophia. All right. So Vitaly takes three, Sophia takes five. Uh, as two little kobolds came darting around the corner and took a pot shot at you. And then dipped out. Wow, rude. Do we uh, do we send Val after them? Do you wake Val up? I was asking Sophia. Maybe. What's the deal with this block? Can it be moved? No, it's a pillar. Hmm. But can it be moved? <laughs> Question stands. Mm. That looks like a load-bearing pillar. <laughs> you can't do engineering. You're asleep. That's all I think about. <laughs> Just engineering things. Is it made of stone? I need day. Uh, yeah. All day yeah. I dream about. <clears throat> oh, it's made of but stone, you say? But you're asleep. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only fair that we share the damage. I'll take the uh, little arrow and stand or loom over Val. <laughs> no. No. She's sleeping too peacefully. Throw the arrow down. You, you can you can see her leg kick. <laughs> oh, she's <All> right. running. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine Val is like one of those sleeping anime people. They fight in their sleep. No, no, she's just a sloppy sleeper. There we go. Right. 
right. Well, oh, we'll just um, watch the dwarves for the rest of the night. Something I'd like to bring up first. Uh, during Val's shift, um, do we know how how good of an eye does uh, our our uh, what's 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 her, Dina Dina? Mm -hmm. How good of an eye does Dina have on us? Like, can she th see things through our eyes? Is she mapping this place, or you don't know? Okay, well, Val will be mapping this place, kind of. What do you mean? Uh, in her spare time, she'd be drawing up a map of what they've explored. It okay. is her job. Yes, this is the fun part of her job. Arts and crafts? Exploration. Fighting. Charting new lands. Um... Okay. Good enough. So anytime we take a rest, uh, just assume that Val is going to chart their progress. This will work, y'all. <clears throat> trying to think here. You know what? Um, I'm just going to let you pick a stat that seems relevant. If you can justify the stat to me and add your proficiency modifier to it. Uh, for making a map? Mm-hmm. Survival. Uh, survival check? Okay. Wisdom makes sense to me. And it's, I'm proficient in it, so... Plus two modifier for proficiency? I believe it's a plus two at this level, right? Yeah, yeah. so... Hey! Pretty good map! Yeah. So you'll probably notice the open ends uh, as you're kind of recollecting and writing it all down. I guess open end. So there's only been... Well, no, there's been two corridors you guys haven't gone down. <clears throat> but... Uh, the rest of the final watch goes by with uh, none of those actively resting being disturbed it seems the one kobold incident you know all things considered it looks pretty good rolls for you guys to not be smacked um so yeah Wake up, do morning rituals, prepare my spells. Uh, for those that are preparing armor of Agathis, or, or yeah, that's right. I'm pretty sure the water doesn't return. So wherever we right. find water. Yeah. So I'll just get a cup of water from over here. Okay. <clears throat> and yeah, when you. When the water sticks to you, it is the the smell of salt is very prominent. Just says it has to be a cup of water, not pure water. Yeah, I get it. But it didn't say it could be salt water. Look, we already traveled with Bail, so right. We're used to salt. Salt down here is a way of life. Once morning rituals are done, it's like okay. Where are we going? Anyone got any ideas? No, especially on how to deal with these kobolds. Val will proudly pull out the map that she worked on during uh, the rest. She says, well, this is what I've charted out so far. Kind of lays it flat against the pillar. And I holds it up for everyone to see. You, you made that during our shift? Yeah. Can I get an assist on that? Oh, um, it would just be Val rolling at advantage at that point. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah, yeah that's how all assists work. I'm I'm proficient in in survival, so like I could have actually like helped. You want to re-roll it real quick? Yeah, yeah, mine's still better. It's fine. We can we can all make but, maps. But no, I'm I'm sure that, you know, with your assistance, 
the map turned out, you know, because Val's probably cut a lot of corners and you probably re reined her back in a good bit. Yeah, so looking at the map that you guys worked on, uh, there are three open ends. There's two open ends uh, from ba basically from where you started to where you are now. And then, of course, uh, you guys know that the water that descends down goes for about 70 feet, but you're not sure what's past that. Oh, also on the map are little spots with, like, little kobold faces drawn in on walls where arrows were shot at us. Yeah. So the two open ends, um, there was one, if you remember, there was one before the, uh, the furnished house with the painting that was basically blocked by garbage. And then there was another one after that house, another corridor, but that other corridor is, um, you know, there's a obvious obstacle between where you are now and getting back to it. The death room? <laughs> yeah, the the hallway of arrows, basically. So what do you guys say? Should we go for the uh, safest one first or try to make our way through the uh, hall of death? Probably the safest one. The, the safest one being the uh, the tunnel. And technically, you guys don't know where this hole goes either. Um, I won't be the first. But it's <laughs> it's deep, deep hole. Oh, uh, everyone who had the five temp HP last time, you get aid again. So I'll give out aids to, to everyone. And that's a D6, that's right? You know they have medicine for that now. Oh, wait, I have to roll for my shield, don't I? Is it, uh, is your shield every rest, or is it... Every long rest, I think. Oh, that's right. Um, it's so D6, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I believe uh, you would just roll the 2D6 and take the higher one, since Vitaly's giving out aid as well. Question. Uh... Hey! Yeah. Does temp HP stack or overwrite? Overwrites. So whichever okay. one's higher. Alright, I, I will, with my cup of water poured, make wavy motions and create rainbows, and suddenly the water from the cup covers my body and forms into a layer of frost. Fancy. For some reason, I imagine the, the water, like, rushing from the cup onto your person. You know how, like, uh, at a waterfall, there's that like, spritz of water. That That's kind of how I'm imagining it, too. Yeah. <clears throat> and aid does something else, doesn't it? Or just temp HP? I think it's just temp HP, right? Vitaly? Yeah, how many people think you're getting this? <laughs> how many people are getting it? I can do three people, so two plus me. I don't need it. I don't. Well, it I helps believe. Me a lot. Yeah, Val obviously, and whomstever is going to be in the front line. I don't think Shiloh needs it. I could use that, I guess. All right, Sophia, will get the third one. Because I think Shiloh can do the same thing I did. Uh, the yeah, I probably can. This work it takes up one of my first level slots. Yeah, and it's not temp HP. Your max HP goes up by five for eight hours. Oh, wow. that's that's different. Uh huh. That would stack with what I have. You're not getting it. It's too late. It's already been cast. No, it's cool. I'm fine with what I have. I can't do it again. Plus, I sit in the back line, so I don't need it. I mean, you can do it again. It's prepared. 
Hmm. Unless you only have one spell slot. I won't do it again. That that other spell slot's for healing. Yeah, I get that from my divine. Uh, whatever you call it. I think today I'll prepare a second level spell. You only can prepare your highest level. I don't know, maybe you can okay. downcast, but... There we go. All now I'm allowed to speak again. The highest level. No, that, 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 I meant second level spell. Yeah, but all your... You only have spell slots, is what he's saying. I see what you're talking about, but yeah. Um, okay. So, um... Val. Yes. So Vitaly didn't explain it fast enough, so maybe... Uh, I'll repoint it out real quick. So, eight is not temp HP. Okay. It is maximum oh. HP. It's five max HP. So you get the four temp HP and then five max and current. So it stacks with your uh, shield, sort of. Okay. Yep. So I have thirty-five health right now. Okay. Is that all the buffs for the... Yep. Okay. I have an hour of 10 in temp HP. Alright. What's you guys' next move? Uh... One second. My bookmarks are messed up. Looking at that, uh, at that briny hole. Seeing how far Taz can get up in there. Yeah, I'm gonna. I don't really like the idea of going down that briny hole. I will summon my familiar before we head off. How long does that take? In the form of a rabbit. Uh, an hour, so I would have done it in the morning preparations. Okay. So we need a rabbit token. Rat. Oh, you. I, I thought, you, I said thought you said rabbit as well. I thought you said rabbit as well. Did I? Yeah. I meant rat. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna go find a rat token. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll imagine him there. Or I'll find one. Yeah, just draw <laughs> a little rat. Find a little cutie. Yeah, we can continue. Okay. What you guys' next move? Hmm. Uh, well, I guess I'm taking point. Uh, back to the boat. Which way did you say the first entrance, the first open area was that we hadn't explored? Uh, the very first one was. Well, the closest one to us. Uh, the closest one is through the, uh, well, the very closest one is through the water tunnel. Hmm. The next closest one is through the hallway of arrows. So how does everyone feel about swimming? I can go f well, you're not talking about in here, are you? I'm talking about in there, yes. I would highly advise against it. Did not go well for my octopus yesterday. Well, you threw it into the well, didn't you? No. Nope. It would, 
No one in there. there. Oh, well, now, fuck only, that, no. The only thing anybody's thrown into that well, I believe, was Sophia casting light on a rock. And it fell for so far that she was unable to see it when she heard the splash. Ah, Les Leslie's which... favorite theme. Sophia, would you mind giving us some light again? I just forgot. This. I'll just uh, grab a bit. Are these uh, old burnt out candles actually here? Yeah. Then, yeah, I'll just uh, turn those into flashlights. Okay. Neat. Great so I guess Great we're going through the Hall of Arrows. Still got your shield, Sophia? No, I lost it. I didn't ask for your smart assery. I asked you a question. The shield is on my arm. Val kind of waves for all the shield people to form up. Come on, we gotta do this bullshit again. I'm all for a rousing adventure, but I'm not about to go swimming in the death water. Yeah, and swimming is not exactly my strong suit. In fact, uh, Nihilus will weakly flex. I'm not really all that strong. Uh, yeah, I can, I can tell. Anyway, come on, let's, let's get this show on the road. Let's do it. Opposite of what I want. Has casually walking through walls. Yep. Oh, is that a wall? I'm That's a wall. Charlotte okay, where does the, the wall. where does the death arrow start again? Uh, around that corner, yeah. No death arrow, please. Weren't we able to disarm it or something? No, it was kobolds behind there. Oh, okay, that's right. The best Question. you... Anyone happen to have any explosives of any sort? Well, last time I shot a blast through one of those holes, it sounded like it did something. No, no, no. I mean, I want to destroy the wall. Uh, uh, no, no explosives, unfortunately. Is the wall made of natural stone? Collapsing tunnel walls while we're in the tunnel may not be the best idea. I don't necessarily need to collapse it, but I might be able to make a hole. I'm not sure we want to risk a cave-in. I mean, I agree. I'm just saying I might be able to. I don't think we really have to worry about a cave-in. She kind of knocks on the stone wall. If anything was going to fall before, it was going to fall a long time ago, guys. Cave in would imply the existence of a cave out. Let's ponder that. No, let's not. And let's worry about getting rid of the kobolds that, so we don't have to worry about doing the shield wall every time we walk through this hallway. Hopefully, we only have to go through the hallway one more time, so let's just get uh, it over with. Is your like, objective to like get into the wall, is what you're saying? Yes. I'm sure we can manage that without explosives. Yeah, I, I can do exactly that. Right now. Or without, you know, significant damage to the wall in general. How? How big? How big? How big are the, these these things? Bigger what things? Yeah, uh, where they were shooting out of. Uh, the arrow slits. Yeah, they're about three yeah, feet on tall a scale and halfling to Azamar. They're technically about halfling size. Mm. So yeah, squeezable. Yeah, there's, there's already a couple holes that we know. Well, they're they they're three feet these walls. tall. They're only, you know, maybe an inch or so. Uh, gotcha. Uh, I could send the rat in to look around, see if there's an entrance 
that the cobalt are using. If you really want your familiar to die again that quickly, you, you just know you know where you the entrance is to the it's wall, the tunnels. Yeah. Oh. Well, let's do that. And yeah, you, let's you, just crawl through their tunnels. You're using the word death all wrong, Val. Okay, you know what? I'm tired of this. And Val pulls out her shield. Let's we go. Just, we just send Taz through the uh, through the hole. She rounds oh, the corner and just shoves the shield the against the wall. No, the other hole. Ah, uh, the other hole. Hmm. I feel like that would be pretty dangerous for me alone. Is Shiloh joining us? Wait a minute. Did you guys do this before? Oh, Vitaly has a shield. Yeah. Uh, Val points like out this. to uh, Taz. Taz, don't forget about that back wall behind us. Uh, which one? Right here? Yeah. That's where we got uh, juked last time. Yeah, oh yeah, I do remember that. I got bopped. That's where the halfling-sized hole is. Yeah, right. I believe... I believe we scared them off from that location, but you know that was nine hours ago. Three, two, one. Got can, this. Can we just uh, Leslie, assume help. we know how to do this? Yeah, Leslie, help us. <laughs> help can us. we just assume that we know how to do this at this point? Two trips: the fox and the chicken. And the thank seats. you, Leslie. Being very Taz cautious is here. Keep an eye on our flank this time, so. I keep grabbing the wrong one. Implying there's more there to grab. This man GM layers. <laughs> oh, right. Because his damage. Nope. 13 does not hit Taz, I assume. Nope. Kick his ass, Taz! But, uh, little... since I. So I was waiting for it. Can I like grab, or, like what, what's happening? A uh, little arrow. A uh, little arrow blinks out at you, and then you hear a uh, skittering. Can I react to chase after the skittering before he dives back into the hole? Uh, he was ready this time. Yeah, you can you can try to chase. All right. Uh, how do you want to do play that out? Uh, make a cool dexterity thing. saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. That would just be your mod. It's your dexterity saving throw. It should be on your Plus sheet. proficiency if you have it. If you're proficient, if, I guess. Yeah, if you're proficient in dex. I'm proficient uh, in strength and con. You'd probably be proficient in dex. Yeah, you'll have Hold a little on. check next to it if you're... I'm still not super familiar with this sheet. I'm trying to find the saves. It's, it's right next to your dexterity. It's your mod. stats. It, it's, it's your stats. It's your dex okay. mod. Oh, I see. Probably I see, I see. plus your proficiency being a rogue. Hey. Hey. Like that. Okay. Uh, you managed to hop over the caltrops. And you're able to see the... Uh, the little cobalt tail. Zoop. Man, I got just... a natural 20 and he still couldn't catch it. Yeah, I was trying to grab him, but I'll take a glance. Then I assume you're a bit more careful trying to get back over the caltrops. Oh, certainly. Okay, well, give me the deck save, but with the advantage. Wait, before you go over the caltrops, there's, there's no way to enter here? You can go down if you want. Yeah, I just, that's not going to be, I'm, I have 15 AC and 26 health. You have as much health as I do unbuffed. How much is your AC? 18. Ooh, see? That's pretty nice. But I actually, Leslie, rather than, can I just pick up the cow traps? It'll take some time. Uh, okay, I'll leave them. I'll just hop over. Give me the decks with uh, advantage. That should be a, I'm not sure why that was a plus four. 
But, uh, yeah, 21. Yeah, you're fine. So you guys go... Bop. Bop. Wait, but before we go there, isn't this one of the pathways that we haven't explored? No, that's a no, hole in the ground. That's a hole in the ground. Okay. My mistake. You could... Uh, the pathway we're referring to is the one with the boat. The boat? Wasn't there a waterway over in this general area? It's fucking caltrops in front of the goddamn path. Mm -hmm. Who put those down there? Kobolds. Because we left caltrops for them. Yeah, I did leave some cow chops for them. Alright, who's got Mage Hand? I got Mage Hand. Good. Chop. Your job is to pick up the cow chops before <laughs> I step on them. Sure, I'll I'll spend a few minutes Mage Handing each individual cow chop over to me. Are you guys going to no, reorient yourselves? Chuck them through the, we uh, have no choice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, they'll probably throw them back out at us. <laughs> Pocket Sand! <laughs> I will go ahead and add those to my sheet again. So what are you doing? He's I'm mage just... handing the caltrops. You're gonna mage hand and pick up the caltrops one by one. Yeah. Correct. With Val growing ever more impatient. So do you guys want to reorient yourselves with however you're at, with wherever you're gonna be standing for this uh, long process of Taz. <laughs> one by one, floating them over slowly. I sure be. Uh, let's we could see. just slide our feet across the ground instead of <laughs> stepping. Just walk slowly. Yeah, can, uh, can I'm actually. Just... <laughs> Go on. Taz, can you get a broom and just no? I'm gonna. Sweep? Yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna actually mage hand a, a leather pouch over to them and individually pick them all up into the pouch and then mage hand the pouch over to me. So, is that where you guys are going to be standing for this whole thing? I was I was going to say, if we're just moving carefully, can we just avoid the call traps? I mean, I have to be in front of the fucking slits so that we don't get goddamn fucking pelted. Yeah, but you're just, you're okay. just holding a shield okay. up. Just like... I'm, I'm going to watch my footing while proceeding. Okay. Roll damage. Give me a dex save. Make it through that one fine. Someone going behind uh, Sophia? Yeah, someone go behind Sophia. I don't know why we couldn't just pick up the fucking caltrops oh. or or you know something like that. But okay, yeah, Actually, sure. if you if you're moving slow enough, it shouldn't matter. So yeah, it'll slow you I... down, but yeah. All right, then we're moving slow. All right, Vitaly, you getting up there to... Yeah, yeah. All right, move us, DM. Sure. Yeah, just creep over. Yeah. <laughs> creep over. And then, one by one, a kobold pops out, takes a shot. Can I blast back. him as soon as he does? I'd Start say blasting. so. Yeah, you could probably you could probably get an attack off. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd be waiting for that. One. Waiting for it. I'd also like to take there it goes. <laughs> okay. Let's see what you got, Nihilus. Or, uh, I got a seven. Uh, Shiloh. Got it. Thank you. Can't be worried for a moment. Okay. 
roll your uh, damage there. No, that's right. I'm th I'm trying. I'm like, never mind. I'm trying to think of like if you have to confirm, do you roll with advantage as well? But that doesn't track because that's not how crits work in this game. Um, be four plus four. Uh, shall you take nine from the first little cobalt that pops out, and then the second one that pops out. Are you serious? Wow. Okay. Uh, Sophia, you're going to take nine. But then that particular kobold, when it pops out... He eats shit. Gets fucking obliterated. Third one misses entirely. Fourth one. I'll actually be able to hit Shiloh. Right? 19 plus 4 is 23. Wait, there are four of them? Yeah. So, three more damage. Alright, the one that, that hit me for 9, he's dead? Yeah, he popped out. <laughs> Took a shot and then you shot him. Okay, and the one that hit me three, he's fine. Yeah, you guys only hit, you only had two attacks, right? Okay, I need a dexterity saving throw from him. From the one that uh. That hit me three. Okay. Is this for armor? What? Is it? Never mind. Eleven. Alright, he fails. Um, he's going to take... Ten fire damage. In retribution for hitting me. What is this? He's fucking dead! Hellish rebuke. Okay, it's a reaction. It's a, it's a reaction. You take... One reaction which you take when you are damaged by a creature within 60 feet that you can see. Yeah. As, uh... I'll, I'll snap my finger at him. Lights up. Edgy. down. The edge is calling tonight. Well, like, I don't use any of my dude's abilities. Let me use an ability first, and then you can do, you can, you can call it edgy. <laughs> this is the one thing I've done, Mr. Chains from Hell. Right. Whoa! <laughs> you leave there me out of fire this. chains from the ground. We get That's it. That's literally the ability description! You get a value died. Whoa. Alright. Val Val ain't dying. Taking care of this character. Beep. Beep. I'm ready for him. Alright. I'm not ready for him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm technically ready for him. But like... Oh my god. Personally. So what? Uh, Why is this happening? Why, Why are they getting advantage? Are they getting advantage? I mean, I understand the three of us against the wall. Oh, it's because but... they're assisting each other. Well, no, it's because they're they're coming into it stealthed. They we literally... know they're there, though. But but also for like for expecting them to do it. You don't know when it's happening. Sure, but we're like we're in like a circle, back to back, right? No, when three of you are facing the wall. When Tassel complains about stealth rules. Right. 
Hmm. That's supposed ah. to be plus four. Uh, so it's, it's actually... It should, it should only work like this for me. Right. Seven, seven damage to Taz, and if you're <laughs> actually uh, attacking back, you can take your attack. Uh, sure. Can I cast a spell back? Yeah. Mm, let's try for it, then. Maybe? I'm guessing I can't get another shot off. No, I'll, I'll just shoot my bow. Um... Yeah, no, you can get a shot off. You're in the middle there. It'll be yeah. a disadvantage because of the people in front of you. And I should have did it earlier, whatever. Yeah, you still hit. Okay. So uh, Taz, damage. roll your damage. Yep. And then the other one takes its shots real quick before Nihilus probably obliterates it. Uh, 15 plus 4 is 19 to Vitaly. I'm assuming that hits. What are you doing to Vitaly? Uh, you're getting shot. What's your oh. AC without your shield? I dislike that. It's 19 will hit. Okay. Vitaly about to be like our damage. <laughs> so you take four. Yeah. And, uh, can I okay. get a shot in? They're dead. There's only two on this side. Yeah, since their 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 little hole in the wall trick isn't working anymore, they're they're coming out. Uh, should I send my rat ahead to scout? Make that might not see. be a bad plan. See how many are there, so they don't get advantage crits again. Could help. Everyone cool with that? I have no control over you. You do what you need to. All right, let me pull up the. Do they have scent? That would be cool. Yeah. Well, it has advantage on perception checks that rely on smell. So yeah, I'll uh, send the rat ahead and concentrate to see through its senses as it does. So you're going to blind and yeah, deafen I, yourself. Yeah. I'm hoping the uh, the group, like I'm, I'm, I'm letting them know that I'm going to be incapacitated while it scouts. Do, do you want to... I'm not telling you how to play your character, but do you want to get out of this hallway before... Uh, well, I mean, I'm literally just seeing what's down the next hallway. I'm not trying to do a whole thing. Just seeing if he sees any threats coming up this hallway here. Just start shoving him along. I only need one hand free, so I'll also hold Taz's hand as we, we kind of move forward. Okay. Because I'm not... You guys have gone through this once. As a refresher, you guys back away from the wall. You can't also cover the hole. Yeah, no, I know. So you guys need to start moving. Yeah, Does I like the idea of uh, hand holding. I can, if you let me get in the middle here, Nihilus, that, that might be. Yeah, the just. Best. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and now I'm scouting good. ahead simultaneously and alerting the, everyone around me to potential threats the rat picks up. He's sniffing around looking for any invisible creatures. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so I need... The first thing I need from the rat is going to be a stealth check. So, our base rat doesn't have any bonus to its dex, but I'll say it has your proficiency modifier. Of I'll be right back in a second. Its, uh, well, actually, you double your proficiency modifier in stealth, don't you? Uh, no. Persuasion and perception. Okay. So just the plus two then. So roll me a d20 plus two for your rat stealth. What kind of rat is it also? A fae. Okay. I figured. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, the, the flowers on its back uh, aren't, aren't very stealthy. Uh, what else did you say? Uh, and then beyond that, I guess let's get a perception check, but it has... Um, Passive ten. With uh, advantage. Yeah, it has a... Really? It only has a... Yeah, I guess it's just a flat roll, huh? Uh, flat yeah, roll. So, give me a... 
D20 with advantage for its perception as it's scouting ahead. 16. Okay. Thirty feet dark vision as well. If that changes anything, there it is. Not really. You're really gonna make me go get a fucking rat token. I'm back. Hey, I gave you one in Discord. Draw a box. Leslie doesn't want to use Ghost Rat. That's what he looks like. Nope. Ghost Rat? Hold on. In Discord. Well, that's not a Fey. That's a ghost. Well, there are many types of Fey. Fey's have ghosts. <laughs> I'll be right back. Ghost isn't a race. Your argument doesn't phase him. Ooh. Oh, that's way better. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that little fabulous boy. That's so much better. The I like first... his snoot. Yeah, first result of Rat Fay. This thing's been around since 2012, and I'm only now seeing it. It's adorable. Too bad it's going to die in like 30 seconds. No, see, everyone's using the death, died. That's not how these things work. This is magic. Jeez, it's huge. Okay, it'll be like, returned to its plane yeah, in this, like 30 seconds. This rat is the same octopus that died yesterday. <laughs> well, when you put it like that... And I use the word died there very loosely in order to uh, satisfy the context. Taz, I'm still not uh, quite okay with you killing your familiar like this over and over again, but... Well, I'm not. I, I don't want it to die. As long as he's okay with it, I guess. He's not. We only met yesterday. We're, we're both learning to work together. Yeah, you've only met yesterday, and you've killed this thing twice now. Well, these creatures come to spellcasters because they want to aid them. They're looking for the adventure. I think it's dead. I'm coming um, away with more questions. So, Taz, you concentrate and uh, see through the the rat's eyes, and I believe you. Hold on, let me double check if you get all the senses. I want to say yes, right? I uh, I believe so. You're looking Let's for a sensation of pain. No, I think it's just sight and hearing. And special senses, like that smell. Really? And yeah. dying. Any special senses that the, yeah, that the failure has. Uh, Drops yep. blah, 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 act independently. It's, it's in the paragraph that starts with while I know, but there's feet. so many paragraphs. Hold on. You can see through their eyes and hear what it hears until blah, 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 gaining any of the special senses the familiar has. I don't think smell is a special sense. Uh, well, that's a button, so it's... Oh, no, that, I think the rat can tell links. you what it smells, but it, you don't smell what the rat smells. Uh, well, what, well, special senses seems to be a specific thing, so what... Like tremor what sense. Hmm. Or like uh, dark vision. You can smell. Yeah, I'm well, not, I, dark I vision know. still uses eyes, and you have eyes. Yeah, but he's blinded yeah. for the duration as well. What's well, stopping him from turning off his own scent? Uh, by the same token. That's just literally not how the spell works. Um, but what you see is the. It scurries down the next uh, corner of the corridor, and then it rounds the next corner of the corridor. It spots some kobolds, and the kobolds spot it. They both take a, a quick shot at it. Uh, both of them hit. And then uh, your vision fades from the rat. 
trap. Foiled again. There are two. For his familiar. <laughs> there are two ahead of us. All right, from what I can find on a quick search on Google regarding find familiar and scent, it looks like it does not give you scent. Okay. Does it specify what special senses are? Uh, are? Not really. All I can really find is it just does not mention that it gives you scent. Oh, wait a minute. It would convey sight, hearing, and smell to its master. Oh, there you go. Was that just like a random forum post? Or is that uh, that's uh, re people who asked. Uh, that's Google's answer. Yeah. Uh, found under Familiars and Five E Dumpstead Adventures. So the real question is, how are you guys getting out of this hallway? Yeah, I don't know what you just said. Uh, did you just enter a hallway? No, no. How are you guys getting out of this hallway? Uh, well, we know there's two coming up on us, so we could at least be ready for it. Well, the last and thing just... you saw through the rat's vision is they took shots and then dipped around the corner. You guys start moving mm. so that we can at least get off this wall, please. Yeah, I will pushing for... ready an Eldritch Bat Blast for the first non-party member I see. And Dina shows up. Hey, guys. She's, she's a party member. Is anyone Notice else you guys moving down? You guys need to get clear and get past the corner so we can move. Taz. Oh, sorry. Let's do it. Huh. All right. I guess you said you need us to get past this corner here? Yes. Uh, we can't Taz. be the vanguard this time, sorry. Taz, do you want to stealth up? Sure, we could do that. Sure. That Maybe might just else. help. Stealth boy. Uh, I know it's let's... not going into a hole. <laughs> hey. They all see you anyway and crit you. No crits here. So where are you going? Oh, keep going. Yeah, keep going then. Please keep going. You actually have to move your token. such a strange concept. Oh, God. See, this is why I take point. <laughs> we just, like, maybe, like, theater of the mind did a little bit. No. You're Could you make Taz the to token public so we can move it for him? Are you not the what one? computer? Who? You. You. I'm... Oh, no, I'm, I'm moving. Y'all don't see mine moving? No. No. Oh no, Fresh. I'm I'm with the group. I don't see I see Sophia and uh Marcello. You are right I, there. Yeah, I see everyone else. I'm like where wait where what are we doing right now? Are are you standing oh right God. there? <laughs> you are stealthing to look around the corner. Guys, oh. I have a nosebleed. Oh, I thought I, I thought we were just stealthing so that uh the, no. the the boys in the back didn't get targeted by the people coming around the corner. Why would Okay, you were just stealthing to peek around this corner so that we can <laughs> safely move here. All right. Uh, I want to switch places, Nihilus. <laughs> how, how does walking around a corner take half an hour? Don't know! Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll peek around. This corner. <laughs> that corner? That corner. So I you're, you're moving. Shoot over. There you go. <laughs> yep, there's still nothing there. Alright. 
Shil Shiloh, you will want to move. Yeah, I'm just I'm very confused. I thought we already established that there was nothing in, in this hallway. Sophia, get behind me and move. We we did not establish that. We established that your rat got killed and there may have st still been something in the hallway. Yeah. I'm going to shoot lightning into that hole as I back away. Shoot lightning. And then, uh, lightning launcher. He's Iron Man. She yeah. lightning from her palms. There's no rat corpse. Fire in the hole! How does it work? Is it a attack roll? It is a ranged attack roll. Okay. Is that the 18? Yes. It's going to be with disadvantage. It's still an 18. Yeah, it's still an 18. And then... Okay. Assume a 15 doesn't hit you. No. Yeah. Okay. You hear a... Something just got fucking obliterated. Sounds like it's more than a... And... Then I'll run. Okay. Alright, do I have space, guys? Uh, not, not yet. Not, not quite. I, I, oh, yeah, yeah, we do. Do I have to shove Taz forward? You might. Yeah, you're good. She, she takes three breaths. <sighs> I love when Discord takes your mouth noise as background noise and just chops it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, nothing hits. Yeah. So the one of the first things that... uh. Everyone notices the dead fey rat on the ground. I don't think he's there, right? You got two little arrows sticking out of him. That is so sad. The two little arrows probably have about as much mass as the rat does. Yeah, it just it just dismisses. Taz, you have to take better care of your of your pets. I don't think of them as pets; they're partners. Yeah, well, you're not being a very good friend to your partners. Well, if you haven't noticed, he didn't do a very good job either. Wow! <laughs> it's yes. magic, Baliel. You'll understand one day. I know plenty of magic. In fact, I actually think Sh I know more magic than you. Chains of hell. You have a license now. for that magic. I don't. <laughs> Pretty sure most of you don't. Have uh, Get a license for that magic. <laughs> Val shushes Sophia. The point is, I would die for any of you in a heartbeat, just as the rat would die for any of us in a heartbeat. I. Well, it it doesn't have I'll... much of a heartbeat now, does it? I'll, I'll, I'm not. I'll take, I'll take that I'll... as comforting. Yeah, okay, I guess I'm taking point on this again, and she kind of like shoves her way through Sophia. Excuse me, sorry. Coming through. All right. Okay. Oh, there is no uh no exit on the other side of the water here. Okay. Yeah. In this room there's just a um uh, the ground kind of slopes into uh a ever deepening water. On the on this side down here, there's a small dripping. Uh, that's pretty consistent. And then there's a uh, very light whirlpool on this side. And a boat that seems to be moored to the other side of the wall. Being pulled slowly towards the small vortex. I gotta, I gotta ask, does anybody else hear Leslie like becoming a robot that yes. slowly learns how to talk every single sentence? Every yes. time. Yeah. Just how to love. What There's I no get. body. I mean, you can keep telling yourself that if you want. See, it's magic, Leslie. But it's his magic, not your magic. No, it, it's the school's magic. 
Okay. Um. Anyway, anyone coming? I was gonna peer around the corner. What's going on down there? So Val pushes Taz out of the way and sh 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 chonks her way over to the to the corner. Well, we weren't gonna go anywhere if I didn't. All right. That's fair. I will be covering the rear, prepared. Uh... Is there no exit from this little little water area? Like, how the boat get in here, for instance? You see Don't two worry little about it. two little arrows fling by you. And these two little guys run. Wow, these things are obnoxious. Hmm. Sorry, somebody say something about a what? What was the question? Yeah, like how the boat get in here? Is there no exit from this little, this little beach type area? Um, like I said, the walls of this place appear to be like caved in the walls don't look like they were they're not consistent they're not as uniform they're as basically they're yeah they're basically compacted bits of other structures um and on the far side of this wall it seems like there's a lot of um like marina esque structures okay. like old rotten wood um the part of the wall that seems to have that boat moored to looks like it used to be a piece of a pier yeah i don't want to don't want to get in that water either way so not important pushing forward, I guess? Yeah. Peer around this corner. You see cool. the uh, little fireplace with the painting over top. The animated painting. Check over here real quick. This is the area we have not explored yet, right? Yeah, this is the place that's unmapped. And when you peer around the corner, two little arrows fling from the, the far side of the room. All right, well, time to get our murder on, guys. Let's go. Do you see them? No, they're hiding. More holes in the walls. Good stuff. We didn't go that way before, did we? That's the other route we were talking about? This is the yeah. other route, yes. I have an idea. It's probably a foolish idea. But I, like I have those ideas. Let me get ahead of you, Valio. Alright. Change places. I'll, it'll never stop. I'll never get <laughs> away from it. The change no. places. <laughs> I miss it. I miss old Ergot every day. Alright. I'm probably going to get shot at, but I'm going to peer around the corner and start volleying Eldritch Blasts at the holes in the wall. Okay. How many... you have two attacks, alright? I have one attack per round, but I'm just going to sit there and keep volleying. Okay. Uh, so, you can peer around, make mm -hmm. your attack. It's going to be a disadvantage. Uh, oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. Um... Okay. 
are they getting advantage despite us having more or less equal cover? It's not equal at all. They have... If this was Pathfinder, they would have what's called advanced cover. <laughs> well, he crit on me. Called. Um, yeah, and the reason I didn't roll an advantage when Val peeked around is because Val peeked around only enough to see where his Nihilus is actually taking attacks. Yeah. No, that's fair. Um, okay, and then it's just a d4 plus 2 for the first hit. Nothing, basically. And then it's 2d4 plus 4 for the second hit, and that's a lot stronger. Jesus. Alright. Believe that. How are, wow. How are kobolds getting a flat plus 2? Uh, yeah, it's Proficient. very easy to get uh, dex to damage. Oh, yeah. I forgot. That Three, broke believe. down my overshield. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from what you can see in the next room, by the way, the floor seems much more, um, it's much smoother. It's like a solid that couch here mm -hmm. how heavy does it look um one moment hell yeah <laughs> I like where this is going um it's probably a couple hundred pounds hundred pounds That's a heavy couch. Now, is she popping around again? Uh, well, first I want to find out what Sophia is doing with this couch. Well, if it wasn't several hundred pounds, then... It's a couple hundred pounds. A couple, sorry. Then, you removed uh... a couch? Yeah. It's yeah. a drag a couch. Yeah, it's not that hard. A three-seat sofa is 287 pounds. Yeah, That's a two-seat, so... This is like a two-and-a-half seat. It doesn't have divided seats, because it's upholstered as one large cushion. Right. It's it's a, like a spacious love seat. All right, I am going. Uh, uh, Sophia, are, are you going to do anything with the couch? Uh, not alone. I was, I was considering uh, shoving it up against the wall and, you know, using it as as a static shield. All right. While you guys figure that out, I'm going to cast mirror image on myself and then peek back around. Ah. to roll a six or higher. Wait, what? Two duplicates, an eight or higher, and one duplicate, an eleven or higher? On a d20? So it becomes, it's like a... Wait, why is it... Hold on. Oh, to, hit, to target a duplicate. I understand. I'm thinking about it backwards. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Interesting. All right. All right, so you peek around. Mm -hmm. You're going to roll to see if they hit duplicates, which they probably will. Actually, one of them doesn't. But let's see if they actually hit you. Okay. Uh, the first one... Why does the duplicate have its own AC? Oh, it's lower. So the first one attacking the duplicate, that probably hits. What's your dex mod? Uh, not, not four. 
Yeah, it hits. Yeah. And then the second one targeting you. Uh, 19. Yeah, that hits. Okay. So you pop around. Go ahead and take your, uh, your attack. Death wish? Uh, yeah, that'll hit. So go ahead and roll your damage. And I have to, uh... Jesus! Wow. Incredible. Okay. That goes there. That goes here. And then... So you're down to... Two duplicates. And then mm -hmm. you take... Four plus two. Three damage. Okay. And you can definitely see that your uh, your Eldritch Blast actually weaves in there. And you hear a, a little bark of pain. Alright. Uh, I'll let other party members act before I turn around again. I still have two duplicates. Well, you can actually see from here. Probably out to there. And then probably like probably see to like here because of how far out you're extending okay you're popping out again well first I uh, want to know if anyone's going to help Sophia with the couch yeah sure I'll help okay uh, I suppose it's just a strength check from Val <laughs> It'd be with advantage since uh, Sophia's helping. One. Yeah. Yeah. So you two kind of start shifting the couch. I'm assuming you're bringing it over to the door. Yeah. While they're pushing it, I'm going to take one more shot. Okay. Got to uh, utilize those duplicates. Yeah, true. Um, so let's see if they hit duplicates. Yes, both hit duplicates. If they hit. They're looking for a 12 to kill a duplicate. Yep. They both got duplicates, so both your remaining duplicates shatter, but then take your attack. 17. Oh yeah, that'll hit. There we go. My rainbow incinerates one. All right. And then after you uh, streak a rainbow through one of the slits, Valiel and Sophia have uh, pushed the couch right up behind you, basically. All right. And I'm out of duplicates now? Yep. All right. I'm going to back up over here. Now, who's... who's uh? I imagine both of you have an end of the couch, right? Yeah, but I can right. I can probably just push the couch to the end of the end of the hall. Okay. You want to go ahead and describe to me how you want to maneuver the couch? Well, we're gonna I'm gonna rotate it, you know, sideways, and then push the couch all the way to the end, uh, using it as cover against the arrows. And uh, once it hits the end, rotate the couch against the wall so that they don't have vision on us anymore. Um, if you're going to be shoving the couch, I will take my shield and slam it into... That's a bad idea. Yeah, I got gonna, this. You're gonna don't, be don't stay in back. the way. Okay. Yeah, set you're... the couch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, give me an athletics check. Athletics? Yes. Hey! Hey, 
All right. You guys see uh, Val kind of shimmying this couch sideways. She rests her shoulder, uh, or she rests the uh, the arm, the top arm on her shoulder. And then as soon as uh, Nihilus kind of pulls back with his two last duplicates shattering. Yeah, let's do this to make this easier. Let's do... There we go. You see Val. Uh, hold on, let's do this. Because that's probably more accurate. Just bull rush this thing in. And when it slams against the wall... Rip. Doop. Doop. She ends up just having a little seat. Yeah, are the, are the, are the slits covered? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she, she slams it against the wall, then turns around and yeah. flops down on it. In the process of running it in there, the the back legs broke off. So just the back of the chair is uh, up against the wall. Fucking picture chastises us from the other room. My couch. My couch. <laughs> she uh she looks she looks past to Sophia and gives her a thumbs up. <laughs> Great idea, Sophia. Fuck kobolds. Fuck kobolds. Yeah, those those arrows kind of hurt. I'm glad I was able to make those those awesome duplicates. They they look Hold great, up. didn't they? Let me let me get some stuff. Didn't out notice. Of here. Too busy pushing a couch. Uh, let's do like this and like this. Like this. I don't think any of that. I don't think any of that hits Val anyway. And then this one. Just uh, I have 18 off. AC. Yeah. Oh, uh, what is that? Um, let me see. You guys just hear, "Oh, you piece of shit!" Look, Val, a bench. Can you use? Can you move that too? Um, this one's only a hundred pounds. <laughs> oh, actually. Actually, no. <laughs> I'm gonna. Eh, is how heavy is the bench? It's it's uh. Hold on. Give me a moment. Where the hell did I put all this stuff? It is not a bench. What is it? It is a uh, an old weapon rack. Does it have any weapons in it? It do. Okay. Uh, it actually has what looks to be a rather old. Um, slightly tarnished mace. I have no interest in that, so I'm gonna pick up the mace, put it down, pick up the weapon rack. The weapon rack is made of wood and mostly uh, rotten. I don't um, give a shit. Okay. Tell, tell me about that mace. It do be a mace. Okay. I'm going to pick up this weapon rack. What do you? Do you need a strength check? You inspecting the mace in some way? No, the rack is incredibly light. Considering cool. that, if anything, you'll need a dexterity check to make sure you don't just break it by picking it up too quickly. I don't care about I breaking it. Inspect, oh, yeah, 
the mace. Okay. Okay, give me an investigation check. What do you know? <laughs> As I shake down the mace. Where's the girl? Who, who sent you? And the mace is like, no, you came to me. I don't investigate. I have a plus two to it, personally. You want me to? Does anyone detect magic or investigate or look? I can't figure this thing out, guys. As he hands the mace to someone else. His mace at his side, shaking about. You don't have higher than beyond a plus me. It's too advanced for me. <laughs> I have a I'll, plus four uh... in investigation. Yeah, hit it. I'll, I'll, I'll try it. I'll let Shiloh go first. Okay. What does uh, it know? Shiloh, what are you doing to investigate this? You're just kind of looking it over? Uh, I, yeah, just kind of looking it over and seeing if I can find any, uh, any markings or sigils or, uh, uh, any kind of, like, craftsmanship marks. Okay. Um, I'm say it looks very old, and it's a really good investigation check. So, it's mostly just like grime that has filled a lot of the um, inscription. But once you kind of, you know, clear that out a little bit, it does have, um, would look to be some simplistic, if not a little off, uh, runes on it, and an actual inscription um, at the the base of the handle, very light. Uh, that reads, uh, "The liar's burden." Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll relay to. Uh... Vitali that uh, it is a it is a definitely very ancient. Um, there are some some markings as to uh, the maze had a name, Liar's Burden. Hand it back over to him. Huh. What do you think it means by that? The Liar's Burden. Well, books tell me that. People would usually name their weapons cool things just because they do that. Because they're people. So there's really no telling what it does, if it even does anything. Does anyone have to detect magic? I could have swore we had someone who did. Um, do I? That's a, it's Four like, warlocks, uh, an arcane rogue, a fucking wizard in a trench coat and no one has detect magic. How uh, does that work? That's a spell, right? Here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't have detect magic. Detect magic is not on the warlock spell list. Who the fuck is the wizard in a trench coat? Sophia. <laughs> the definitely not a wizard. <laughs> I, can, uh, I can personally only choose in, I think enchantment and illusion spells. <laughs> but as a side note, once you guys are you know, firmly in the room. This place reads as a um, a jailhouse, if not decrepit. Uh, there's a, a barred door with uh, quite a number of skeletons inside. Many of them piled up in the corner. Uh, two that are uh, still manacled to the walls, and then one that seems to be... Um, up against the, the bars of the the gate in a prone position with its hands still clawed onto the the bars. What's what's down here? Give me one moment. I assume another hole. Do, do, do. I need polygon. B. 
You hear some scurrying uh, off to your right as you inspect this room. Jeez. The hole in here at all! She throws the fucking uh, weapons rack aside. These kobolds are filthy rich with boats. What is going on? I found a kobold den, you pieces of shit! Get in here! Is this a boat and half of a boat? Yeah, you, uh, in this next room, um, it's more marina. Uh, and specifically, there's a quite a damaged, uh, what looks to be like a small fishing vessel in one corner. And on the other side is what looks to be what used to be the stern of a ship. This uh, architecture gets increasingly bizarre, guys. In, uh... Uh, in fact, the walls in this area uh, are comprising more and more of what seem to be uh, like old wood that's been compressed. The, the wood's almost acting like a mortar the way it's been compressed between what stone there is. Does there seem to be uh, any trace of the cobalts living in this hall? hall? Or is this just a room? Give me an investigation check. I'll try it. Nah, still thinking about that rat. It haunts you. <laughs> he was supposed to just disappear. What are you trying to look for, Taz? Uh, I was seeing if there was any signs of uh, that the Cobalts are living in this room. Or, or you know, st primarily stationed here with this. It seems like a pretty cozy place to stay, you know. Big boat hall. It smells uh, very much of rotten wood. Beautiful. Rotten wood and brine. I can I can try investigating. Kind of peer in. Nihilus will assist. Guess don't need to. Um I mean, just peering in, you would, you would probably notice uh, a few little claw marks on the side of the large ship where a few planks have gone missing, but nothing that would uh, suggest a lived-in scenario. Okay, yeah. Uh, the kobolds were here, but it doesn't look like they were staying here. I'll uh, load the, the crossbow up again and... Uh, I guess step forward with uh, with bow. Can we check out this boat? Sure. Is there like it's the stern, right? Does the wall like fuse into it here? Or is there actually like part of the stern that we can move into back here? Yeah, like there's a yeah. So <laughs> yeah, if you if you that. if you go back there, there's like a small uh, quarters. And in the quarters, there's actually, um, it looks like there was probably once a bed there, but all the cloth has been, uh, either lost to time or taken. And there's a, um, like a small lockbox with a, with a rather ornate but old looking lock on it. Yeah, I'll, I'll announce that there's a lockbox back here. There's some kind of uh, some kind of lockbox. Nihilus will ask uh, if we, since we, I'm I'm sure we want to fiddle around with that lockbox. Do you mind if we uh, rested for an hour here, about an hour at least? I kind of need to recharge. I 
I have no objections. You didn't Probably not the best place to take a rest, considering I just saw kobolds, uh, you know, skittering around in here. Oh, you guys don't need to. They don't seem to come after us unless they're we're we're in a position to be ambushed. And we can move back to that room where you stuck the couch. There, there's not a lot of entrances there. I, I don't care anymore at this point. So, <laughs> like, uh, I had a uh, work call. So, uh, what happened with the uh, weapon rack? Nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing. There was a uh, a mace in it. There's a mace in it. Did anyone bring the mace with them? Do you have detect magic? A ten minute ritual cast. What so a coincidence. Minute. We're resting anyway for an hour. So yes, I will detect magic on it. And anything else in the area as well, because it's a ten minute spell. Turns out wizard in the trench coat has it. Taz can fiddle with the lockbox. Oh, I can. I can unlock with the best of them. Sure, go ahead. Uh, was there anything else of note that I should uh, be aware of? There's a fucking boat fused with this wall. Used or buried? No, the fused. wall was just cut out for the fused. boat. So, the mace does detect as magic. Okay. And... Um. You'll probably have to take some time with it to attune to it to figure out what it do. There's also some magic pinging from the pile of skeletons in the cell. Um, I'll take a look at that as well. The cell um, is locked, as you might imagine. I'll unlock it. What school of magic is the uh, is the mace? And then I guess the same with the uh, with the scale tiles. Uh, the mace has a divination on it, and uh, the uh, scale tiles you're getting an uh, aberration. Uh, or Vitaly, the, Vitaly, this mace is positively divine. Really? He'll, uh... Or negatively divine. He'll eye it up and say, well, you know, I kind of discounted it at first, but now Discount. that you mention it. So we have charming spiders and divine maces. Taz, is that and your uh, lockpick? Yeah, I'm going for the cell door. For the cell door? Yeah. Uh, no, not off of that. Um, I'll keep picking at it while examining the mace okay and if if you can I can uh, get the door open I'll give it one more then I'll let you hey hey yeah the the lock is very old uh, you feel like just the the wear of time itself has made it more difficult than it should have been but you can feel it click and the uh, the door creaks open and the uh the skeleton that has the, the door clutched in its claws kind of crumbles and scatters as the, the cell door swings wide. Oh, uh, motion. Uh, who is opening it? Sophia? Yeah. So I assume you kind of so... scan over to find the magic? Yes. Okay. Uh, should be easy enough to find. Uh, one of the skeletons has a, a ring. Okay. I'll take that and 
uh, do a quick scan over the skeletons. Uh, any other valuables attached to hands or otherwise? Yeah, there are a few uh, non-magical uh, rings on some of the skeletons' hands. Yeah, I'll go ahead and collect those. Okay. And the ring, again, it's one of those where you just attune to it, you'll figure it out. Can I try? Well, I'm, I'm resting. Yeah. Remember, you have three attunement slots, so keep track of what you're attuned to. Yeah, I'll go ahead and... How long does it take to attune? Is that overnight short or rest. short rest? Um, I'll take the rest of the ten minutes to uh, scan the room here for magic, and then um, I'll go ahead and attune to the ring. All right. Uh, you do get a little uh, ding of magic underneath the ship in the corner of the room. And you find a uh, a small metal disc with a engraving of a feather on it. And then the school for that would be, uh... Uh, the school for that is Transmutation. Um, this one actually is a bit simpler. It doesn't take much to, to parse out what this is, because it seems like this type of magic hasn't really changed that much over the years, or at least the historical version of it seems very similar. Um, this is a feather token, but specifically this is a feather token uh, basically if you were to activate the token you can be treated as having feather fall let you uh, descend about 60 feet. Uh, 60 feet per round. Oh, it slows your rate to 60 feet per round. And as long as you land before the spell ends, you won't take the damage. If you fall 20 feet while it's on your person. Yeah. It'll okay. it'll auto-activate. It, it's automatic. Yeah. Okay. It's like a, a one of those automatic... Uh, not automatic, but you know the... What do you call those things? The parachutes Airbag. with a small parachute. You know what I'm talking about? It's not a ripcord parachute. It's the other kind. Right. Well, all umbrella. No. I'll throw um, that to, to Val because she's most likely to find a pitfall. Gotcha. Gee, hey, thanks. And then uh, Shiloh, are you still fiddling with that lockbox? Uh, I. How heavy is the lockbox? Uh, it looks like it's built into the ship. Okay, then yeah, I would have definitely got somebody to take a look at it. Okay. Uh, sure. So Taz, Taz. are you going in to pick another yeah. lock? Yeah, I'll give it a go. Okay. Hey. Hey. Click. Incredible. Yeah, this, uh, this very ornate lock looks like it's going to be a lot of trouble. And it kind of is, but it kind of works for you as well, because it's such a nice lock. It hasn't yeah. 
really suffered the ravages of time that the cell lock did. Yeah. And it's the four tumbler model instead of the five tumbler. Right. Yeah, they didn't move up to the five tumbler until uh, the incident. But it pops open, uh, and inside you see what looks to be about um, one moment. Let's do this. Uh, it's about it's about 800 or so uh, gold worth of silver pieces. Wow. And this there's also, the strangely, if I remember correctly, let me actually pull it up, make sure I'm not retarded. Uh, there's a small iron spike in there, and there is a gray hemp rope in there. Both of those things seem like they're a little out of place. Yeah, I'll ask uh, Sophia if they come off as magical. Um, go ahead and uh, detect. Yeah, they do. The they spike do. comes off as illusion, and the rope comes off as transmutation. Um, while you're tuning, you'll probably have to take a look at these as well, because they're, you feel like they're not difficult, they're sort of in the same vein as the coin, where you could figure them out without actually attuning, but they're wrong. They're wrong magic. But with that, you guys are going to take a short rest. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let me double check something. Probably in the room back here. Okay. Could I make a an arcana check to uh to just identify those two? Sure, if you want. Also, as a quick question, how much gold does everyone have? Well, we're up about. I have 200 each right now. Gold. What? Not 200. What's uh? The the silver we just got would give us 133.3 repeating. Of course. Cool. Each. Each. So I am at about double that, more or less. Right. I'm sorry. Say that again. 133.3 repeating in gold from the 800 gold in silver pieces. Um, that was a 19 for the Arcana? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I wouldn't have wanted two rolls either way. Um, no. So the Iron Spike... Um... Basically, what you get out of it is this seems to be like it's similar to the, what Dina does, just worse. So the way the spike works is you'll hammer it into um, into place, and it can create an illusion about 15 foot high and 15 foot around. Um, it can do a few different images just based on how you treat it whenever you hammer it in and it can make like a it's like crates and barrels or rubble or even a small cabin or you know just little illusions uh and then the hemp rope uh, it takes some fiddling with, but, um, what languages do you know? Um, common, because this game doesn't give you many options. <laughs> Fuck it, got them. Yeah. Um. Gotcha, that's true, isn't it? Shit. 
If you don't get languages from a background or from a class feature, you don't get languages. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Big oof. Okay. So you know that the way that this magic works is that there is a command word. But you're not sure what the command word is. Uh, but you've seen similar enchantments on ropes before. Um, this is known as an iron rope. So once you speak the word, the rope literally transmutes into solid iron. By any chance, is it written in elven or sylvan? It's not written on the rope. Oh, okay. Yeah. the person who does the detecting has to know the yeah. language. Oh, I get it. Okay. And, um, you can actually cut the rope a few times. Uh, it's 25 feet long. Uh, you can cut it. Let's see. It can be cut up to three times. It doesn't really matter what the, uh, the lengths are as long as it's like at least a foot but if you cut it more than three times it will ruin the enchantment mm. but with that you guys can take your short rest can we uh, take a tin real quick as well I need to sure. go grab some food yeah I'm gonna probably go grab a snack as well very cool I'll be right back Back. I can cut off a length of that rope, speak the command word, and tie somebody up. Or rather, uh, tie them up first, then speak the command word. Or, uh, here's the safe word. Oh, um, yeah. Tie somebody up with it, like, fucking write the command word somewhere else. You do, like, a saw thing. Our turn. Welcome back. So don't forget, uh, when you guys long rested, you get half of your spent hit dice back. And you can also spend hit points during the short rest to recover HP. It's um, it's the dice plus con mod. So if you do if you do one dice, it's one dice plus con mod. If you do two dice, it's two dice plus con mod. It's one of those things where it encourages more short rests, but.
Hellish Rebuke is so cool. I think it's one of my favorite things in this new magic system. Yeah, it's really strong. Like low level fucking counter attack for a wizard. It's your fucking it's your one spell slot to just like annihilate some dude. You gotta take a hit for it. Yeah. But like Literally they hit you and you're like, hey fuck you, buddy. Right? Cause like you ha they have to deal damage to you for to for it to be able to use it. Wait, I say that. Double check. I think that's correct. Sounds right. Of these fucking names, I don't know why I'm writing them. Ah, you gotta figure it out. It'll be fine. I guess the super diminished languages does make more sense. Sort of. I mean, it is what it is. I've been complaining about it since the beginning. Yeah, but like, how many bilingual people do you know? And then how many trilingual people do you know? Yeah, but like also... Actually, not that uncommon. It's, uh, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> trilingual That's more so, common. but bilingual not so much. Um, but like, yeah, uh, fucking a 16 int person being a polyglot, a fucking 20 int person for sure. Almost everyone else in the world knows their primary language and English. Well, you guys could also know Chalaxian, but you know, it's not just how, it's just not how history shook out. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that might should be enforced, that the common language should be like <clears throat> either a given or Well common is um, common speakers. Pathfinder common is technically Taldane. Taldane. Of course it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Makes so much yeah. sense. They're very consistent about that bit. Yeah. Everything makes sense now. Yep. I imagine Chalaxian is literally just Italian. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Diablo Boopy. I mean, have you heard their fucking names? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I'm Michelle Vitali. Vitaly takes over and reforms the Order of the Chain. Order of the Change? Order of the Order Blockchain. Of the chain block. Yeah. There you go. I like how we all... I like how that worked out. Strong. Powerful. I don't know how much more you guys are actually going to be able to see in the next probably 30 minutes. I'm back. Welcome back.
was just like a way to get bonus languages as like an option somewhere. Oh, I'm sure there's ways to get languages. You'd York. be surprised. heart attack because I thought I never started the stream for some reason. I was like, <laughs> oh no. I need that. <laughs> the Bjorks. It's my whole life, by the way. Welcome to it. Constant Bjork. She just does it. She just Bjorks. There's nothing to Bjork at, by the way. There's never anything to Bjork at. About the ghosts. You can't forget the ghosts. Or the eldritch horrors that hide in the dark that she is protecting you from. Listen, mailman's never killed us yet, right? And I bark every time, right? Coincidence? <laughs> I think not. Exactly. Has the entire family been murdered yet? No. You're welcome. <laughs> That's probably what she thinks. X out. Wait, who are we waiting on? Nathaniel. Ah. A wizard in a trench coat. <laughs> Definitely not a wizard. Oh no, this isn't a spell book. This is a schematic book. This just explains how I make all my gadgets. Isn't a spell book. This is a. This isn't a spell. This is a formula. Yes, we named the formula bull. Uh, fucking bull strength. Just, you know, it's just a similar effect to the spell, right? This yeah, isn't the thought... spell book. This is an invocation book. Yeah. yeah. I just. Yeah, yeah, sure. I uh, I call the bead that I throw a fireball, but that's only because it makes a ball of fire. It's not actually the spell fireball. Well, yeah, do it again. I can't. I'm out of resources. Would you would you say similar? Not not so um, dissimilar from being out of spells. <laughs> Fucking I'll Shellish Inquisitor shows up and is like, what do you need? I can go to the grocery store, get you whatever you want. Anything at all. How about a, a long rest? <laughs> go to the store and pick me up one of those. So I just want to ask real quick. This spot here and down here, is that water? Yeah. Okay, cool. Old, stagnant, seawater. Just need water. <laughs> okay. Just add water. Yeah, that's true. I didn't realize that's what you were asking about it for. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, um... I'll stop Nihilus, and I'll just present him my water skin. I mean, it consumes the water. Yeah. Yeah, but you only need, like, just some water. Just... A cup. Does it even have to be a full cup? Yes. It, it dictates a cup. Oh, yeah. Well, fine. All right. Probably a cup by volume. Yeah. Can't, can't, he can't get the world's smallest cup and...
I mean, that would be awesome, but no, that's why I have a coffee mug. Right. Just dead splash himself with a thimble of water. Um. Could you do it with coffee? Splash there we go, thimble. Nathaniel's back. Psh, that's you probably 25 could. temporary HP. <laughs> okay. Um. I don't know how far we're going to get in the next 30 minutes. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm honestly fine with calling it. Okay. Because, like... I feel like you guys have probably figured it out by now. This dungeon is a lot of uh, cobalt shenanigans. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. It, yeah. I know. I'd like to make progress. I know. I'm aware. This is the challenge the spider chose for us. It's, uh... It's... Cobalt's are a pain in the ass, man. Mine were very friendly. Especially in their element. And boy, are they in their element. Oh, yeah. They will live with this. They... They kind of ate through my, my armor and ate through my mirror image, and I only got two spells. Uh, you ate through a few of them, so... Yeah? Yeah, I mean, it, it worked out. It's it's not like they're not taking casualties. Oh, yeah! You, I just, you'll kill every monster in this ecosystem if you have to. I, I just kind of <laughs> like to get my, my armor back and my mirror image back so I can do that again. Yeah. I mean, that's... Uh, that worked uh, out. Like Short rests are going to be really powerful for you guys' party in general. For the yeah. amount of wizard or uh, warlock casting, I actually get all my spells back on short rest. Yeah, of course you do. Everybody does, okay. except for Sophia and uh, Vitaly. There you go. So Imagine half being of a wizard. Us hey, a point for cleric. Okay. Yeah, I'll go ahead and kill off old Stremo. Don't forget, you guys have to divide up the uh, magic items. Oh, uh, what what does the ring do? Oh, it's a ring of protection. Oh. Yeah, you have to attune to it, but it's a plus one to AC. Uh. What, what does the mace do? Oh, yeah. Did you attune to it? Sure. Fucking got him, boys. There you uh, go. <laughs> no, I figured it's, it was you're evil yeah. now. No, once per, <laughs> uh, once per rest, so short or long, uh, whenever you make an attack roll, you can add a d4 to the total, and you can make the decision... Um, after determining whether the attack hits. So if you miss, you would say, I want to add the d4, you roll the d4, add it to the total, and you can turn the miss to a hit. But it's once per rest. Okay, extra d4 to, uh, to a hit if I miss. What was the yeah, spike again? Once per rest. Once per rest. Okay. Uh, it created illusions like uh, what Dina yeah. does. Sort of. Uh, it's an iron spike of safe passage. that in the thing uh, I'm sure you you high AC guys are chomping to the bit for that ring but I've only got 13 AC you do you well, buddy I'm already attuned to it oh I oh, mean spike's pretty cool yeah. I mean yeah I can take Fucking it off dibs. and pass it to someone but don't I mean, forget that... you guys need to keep track of what you're tuned to because you only have three attunement slots alright guys I'll catch y'all later. Because I Good think, night. Uh, on what we got, please. Uh, I think, um, Sophia, you're attuned to the shield and the ring. Yes. What does and... the shield do? It does something, right? Uh, it protects against fear effects. Oh, right, right, right. Um, ring of protection, fear of the shield, and then, um... Did you have I've something got else? enhanced defense on my armor. Uh... Is that taking a two minute slot? Um, I need to double check. Um, because I want to say your emergency life shield takes in a two minute slot. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah. Doesn't. Okay. So you'd have to choose something to unattune to 
if your armor takes an attunement thing. Is the life shield a like a physical item? Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought it was kind of like just an abstract ability concept. No. What? You think someone like, sold you an abstract ability concept? Like, like what, what is it? Life shield actually. of mind. Is it a, a shield, actually? No. I have a thing for it. Here, I'll put it in Discord real fast. Y you linked the page from the PDF. Yeah, you have a fucking... Well, it's a PNG. Emergency life shield. Ah, oh, it's a necklace. Yeah, I remember that. Sort of. It's, it's rather large. It's not a necklace, per se. You could wear it's it as a necklace. on a chain. <laughs> no. Uh, it's like... um. It's like one of the, it's like a thin water bottle in size. It's a life alert. Sort of, yeah. Let me I'm gonna kill off all shrimp real quick. 